Welcome back to CTV Morning Live. There's a new gala hitting town uh, at the Westin Hotel on Saturday, October 29th. It's called the Kaleidoscope Gala, and joining us, the creator of this gala, a gala at Sharon Bosley House. Great to have you on the show. And the people who are benefiting from it is the uh, Youth Service Bureau, and we have their executive director, Joanne Lowe. Great to have you here. Great to be here. Okay, so you guys have so much on the go <laughs> with the House family, and yeah. so I ask you, you know, what was the concept behind this uh, of putting on a gala like this, and, and why did you feel it was important? Um, basically, Tony and I have seen through our kids what has been happening. We have um, some of our friends' kids have tried to take their lives. Some of our kids' friends have tried to take their lives. Some have been successful. Also, some of our kids' friends have been uh, suicidal, anorexic, bulimic, cutters. And Tony and I, watching what's been happening, just couldn't stand by anymore. We said we have to be proactive and find help for, for what's happening to stop our teens from becoming statistics. We're starting to, I mean, uh, the dialogue has really increased over the last year for sure. What was it that you were hoping to achieve from, from this event that would be different than the awareness and stuff that we were talking about with mental health? Well, basically, Tony and I want immediate action with our children. Uh, I have three friends whose kids have been turned away from the hospitals. Their children are suicidal, seriously depressed, and nowhere to go. We called the Youth Services Bureau because we know they have a drop-in clinic. However, it's only open one day a week. We want it to be open 24-7 so that families and children have a place to go immediately. And as a mother, I would want that. So that's where Youth Services Bureau comes in. <laughs> what was it like to hear, you know, this is something that's ongoing for you? You know, you've got your services available. You can't meet all of the needs, but to know that there is a gala like this that is directed entirely towards the Youth Service Bureau. Well, we were incredibly honored that uh, that the houses uh, chose the Youth Services Bureau. You know, we uh, we offer a full range of services, and when we already know that one in five children and youth uh, experience a mental health issue, that's 36,000 kids in Ottawa. And um, we, the, the good news is that there is actually help out there. You know, we offer a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week crisis line. I believe you have the number on the screen. Um, and as Sharon said, we've, uh, in January, we opened up a walk-in clinic. Uh, we are expanding that. And we also have other mental health services that are available. But most importantly, I think YSB is very committed to actually making services as accessible and as non-judgmental as possible. So that uh, youth and their families feel comfortable in a place where they'll be accepted and be heard. Do you think something like this could happen that you know we're moving away from just the once a week uh, you know ability to come in but that you could have it open longer and more accessible for these for these you know these youth and their families as well? well we're certainly always looking for ways to expand our services and uh, the walk-in clinic is one of those areas so we certainly envision the walk-in and, and, and our counseling services as well as all our other services services through uh, the drop-in through um, and through our employment services as to to be able to meet to reach more kids and it just seems and you're saying it just listening to you that there are more kids that are going through this it's a different generation there's the mm -hmm. social networking there's so many other pressures coming from everywhere and, right. and I'm listening to your story <laughs> and I'm starting to panic, panic. <laughs> okay we can do this um, right. okay so very briefly because this is a new event can people still get involved is this something that you can see growing Going in from now on Definitely. to have this. This is just our first year. Um, we've already missed the budgets for a lot of big corporations who have committed, though, for next year's gala. We know that we won't be able to raise in one event the funding to have 24 hour care or a drop in clinic for these kids, but we're working towards that goal. The other thing we want as well is um, working with the school board. We want to get teachers more involved, teachers being proactive and seeing what's happening with our, t our kids and teachers mentoring and just seeing the signs so they can communicate with the parents and we can hopefully catch this be before they become a statistic. We're talking about it, we're creating dialogue, there are mm -hmm. services available, we're increasing those services, so everything moving in the right direction. Uh, Sharon, thank you so much. Thank it's the you. Kaleidoscope Gala, it's happening uh, at the Westin Hotel on Saturday, October 29th. The information was listed on your screen if you can get involved. So there's lots of different ways to be able to get involved. And uh, Joanne, thank you for the work that you're doing and I'm looking forward to working a lot more with the services we're bureau as well. We're looking forward to that as well. Uh, we are going to take a short commercial break. We are looking at uh, top of the hour, your 8 o'clock news headlines are coming your way right after this.